Alrighty, so we've got, uh, well, the Silly Ducks Revolution starting up north. Uh, their opponents, uh, Yo RMN, uh, to the south. And uh, when it comes to uh, the tank selection, hmm, interesting. Yeah, slightly varying there. Yo Ironman going with a slightly heavier setup, going with three heavy tanks, one medium, one light. Whereas their opponents, the Silly Ducks, going with only one heavy tank and two mediums and two lights. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, slightly more mobility coming out from the Silly Ducks. However, the Silly Ducks are starting up north, so they do have the option of sending a couple of tanks to the it's west. Just rally maneuver, yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to see how that plays out. But IF now moving towards this west or the central hilltop area. Same with the Silly Ducks, but the Silly Ducks kind of lagging behind right now. They aren't fully committed to that hilltop just yet. Yeah, and the left one of the MX-50 is all the way down south as a sniper uh, as well, which is pretty standard when you uh, start down south with a heavier setup. Yeah, so we have Tomodi over here in his T1. And uh, he, there's another uh, light tank actually over there on the Silly Duck side over on that western island. But... Um, I mean, right now, IAF, they do have control of this hilltop, and the Silly Ducks, too, have to be careful of that. They could use those light tanks over there on the west. Uh, I believe they do have one of their AMX 13s over there as well. So if they have continual vision on those members up on the hilltop, on they're going to the, get chances, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they could possibly get chances. they got to watch out for the NMX-50, though, which just came down south on the uh, UR man side because uh, it definitely can uh, deal plenty of damage as well. Oh, excuse so. me. Actually, both of those AMX-50s are actually on the, over there on the island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Sorry about that. But Moving Castle taking a lot of damage right there. Yep, indeed. Ashkira Musketeer, once again. Yeah. Yeah, some nice shots coming out. The AMX-50 also has been spotted there in the southern edge. So yep. the Citadel know that they have that AMX-50, at least one of those AMX-50s. Yeah, they, they really have to worry about that. Like when they're going like just both, because I think both AMX-13s, uh, Ashgar and Timodi are camped uh, to that west island, but they really have to watch out for the crossfire coming down south uh, from those AMX-50s. Because yeah. they wouldn't like stand long uh, to that kind of firepower. So, uh, yeah, I want to see the Citadel push up more on this hilltop though, because- They could afford to do it. Actually. Just so yeah. they can get more vision, and yeah, so yeah. these AMX-13s can get some shots off. I mean, see, they, they really have no vision on this hilltop right now. Yeah, no, they don't. And, oh, but Tanaka yeah, Tanaka's taking, like taking a, a crack shot. Uh, Opelisk is uh, having oh a my blast God. here. Yeah, he almost takes him out. Oh, oh, my, oh, my God. 13 hit points out of 1,050. Needless to say, he's a walking corpse. He is. He really took way too much damage over there. That T69 back at the base of the Citadel is doing a great job yeah, of, of doing vision. so much damage. Yeah. And providing vision as well because Opalist was still firing shots from uh, his starting position. Uh, so brilliantly done. Uh, yeah, Opalist with a T32 uh, that definitely can deal some damage too. Yeah, so, uh, so Tomodi and Ashgar and Basakir still over here on this western island. They're trying to get some shots up, but they have absolutely no vision. That's why I want to see the, the Silly Ducks move up for this hilltop so they can get more vision and more control of the map. Of the map, yeah, yeah. Because right now it's, it's really nice to have those two MX-13s like camped up to the West Isle, but uh, yeah, they can't get a, a crack at anything at the moment because uh, uh, they, they got no eyes on target. Yeah, they really don't. And look at that Tanaka car. <laughs> Tanaka car with 13 hit points. He's still trying to crack shots like uh, to... Uh, I I'm looking at the Observer folks, by the way. Uh, he's still trying to crack shots at uh, whoever's hiding uh, behind the hill, but... Uh, yeah, if the Slater sort of push up right now, then there really isn't any any uh, confrontation right there. Yeah, no, there they, wouldn't they, be. They, they could definitely afford Yeah, to. they could afford to. Uh, they, they'd have to watch out for flank, but because they left their MX-50s all the way down south, they could afford to do what you're talking about right now, because uh, they would be unchallenged. Yeah. They would be unchallenged, and uh, having those two MX-50s all the way down south definitely is providing such... That's why, uh, uh, because of those two MX-50s, like, uh, the, it's not allowing any uh, of the Silly Duck members to, uh, to, to push in the middle. Yeah. And see, like, the I, the, uh, the Yo Iron Man members right now, they're, they're playing extremely defensive right now, because they took a lot of damage. Of damage, yeah. Well, especially you know, their... The yeah. I mean, Tanaka, uh, once again, like, he's... Uh, it's a miracle uh, he's still alive, as a matter of fact. Uh, they could be like eight tier points down, in which case they would be forced to push out. Yeah. Uh, right now, they can still afford to wait pretty much uh, this one. I don't blame them for doing that, too, because like losing Tanaka would just uh, cripple them to no end. Mm -hmm. So we have Times New Roman and Moving Castle still at the base of this hill. And yeah, see, if the Citadel sort of push up right now, they could get a lot of shots off onto the the Iron Man members. They could, but they would be way vulnerable to the MX-50s that are way cam down south. I mean, I mean not, not, not come out of cover, but, you know, at least be up on the hilltop just to provide more vision. 
And oh, the silly ducks are, they have moved, no, they're actually at the base of the hill right now. Two of their uh, T69s over there. Around, they are moving up though. Yeah, yeah are, look at are. that. Uh, meanwhile, speaking of Tanaka, uh, who's like so low on hit points with his WZ-132, he's, he's uh, taking, a, he's having a peek at the West Isle uh, up here, but he should really be careful though. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if those Amex 13s do decide to continue to push down south on the Western Island, yeah, he'd be a goner. He, he could uh, be in trouble. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if they lose Tanaka, then uh, potentially they could lose the set. Share point advantage. Yep. So here we have the Silly Ducks moving in towards the hilltop, just like I said. Oh, but they are taking a lot of damage. Yeah, here, they Vane. are too. I mean, it's those Amex 50s, mate. Like all the way down. I mean, oh, they, they got to get undercover. See, Vane is completely in the open right now, so he is vulnerable to those shots. And here we have Tomodi also trying to get some pot shots off. And because right now, um, Iron Man, they are in a position to fully engage this. Especially with Tanako Solo and a bunch of the other members being uh, low. And those AMA activities over there on the West yeah, Island. They, they, they would have, like, in a, in a central confrontation, they would have the advantage. But I gotta say that Tomodi is, like, uh, uh, doing so much damage here as well. Uh, TMDK had to flee out of this, pretty much. Yeah. As well, so uh, pretty even. Yes, yeah, so Tomodi here. His track was damaged, and he's not going to use his repair kit just yet. Yeah, he's going to back out of there. And they only TMD have kicked so much punishment. He did. He, he, did. To, uh, he had to just uh, retreat. So a lot of the uh, well tanks on both sides have taken plenty of punishment yeah. uh, right now. But uh, I'd still give a wee bit of an edge to Silly Ducks here. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I do have to give the, the advantage to Silly Ducks right now. They do have more map control. They should have done this earlier on because the, I feel like in the long run they would have they would have won the trade no matter what. Due to those AMX 50s over there on the West Island. But right now, I mean, they, they're, they're still doing a great job. And our Amine here, he's, he's still trying to uh, throw down some poke. He has to be really careful. It is a 2v1 situation. It, it is, it is. Uh, even more, even more be due to the AMX 50. And here we have Obelisk here. Oh, Obelisk here with his T32. Oh. oh, misses that one. It's just the elevation. Like yeah. you don't really realize it when you're uh, just taking out uh, on the screen, like observer. But uh, yeah, just uh, even slight oh. elevation can just. Uh, oh, or taking plenty of punishment, but uh, still gaining some as well. To Modi and Vane coming from the crossfire here, and Opalisk uh, taking some damage from those MX-50s. Uh, it's not looking good. Yeah. They are taking a lot it's of damage. It's just those MX-50s all the way down south is so lethal. And look at that, Vayne almost, almost taken down. He's got 100 uh, hit points left, so he's going to have to retreat. Yeah, uh, those, quite wisely. I, I, I want to see down. those MX-50s push down that, hill, that, that island right now. But TMDK was taken down, though, so uh, the tier point advo advantage goes to uh, Silly Duck. So right now, uh, yeah, unfortunately for, uh, for uh, the uh, Iron Man members, they're going to have to push. They have yeah. no other option but to push and to attack, and Aura should retreat. Right now, he's hiding behind that rock, and Moving Castle's really low too. Uh, but they, they really want Moving Castle, though. They, they, they really do. want him. They really do. But right now, you know what? Just uh, with two minutes down, yeah, the uh, the uh, Iron Man like team has no other option but to charge in because uh, if they just stay put, they're gonna lose this. Yeah, exactly. But and let's not forget, Tanaka is like down to sliver of life, and so is I Moving mean, Castle. I mean, they, they can't push them because Moving Castle is so low. If, if they push out, it's just Really, really yeah, but if they don't side. do anything, they're just gonna lose. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean honestly, that there are really very few options right now. Well, for, I know, for I, Iron it's just no, I you know what, like, uh, they who, who was that, uh, uh yeah, Vayne uh, retreated because he took some damage. Uh, Tomodi is still relatively healthy, so he's staying like up that hill. But oh, look at that, a flanking maneuver coming to the east here. Um, and it the T1's probably gonna get taken down. You've got uh, Big, the oh, Big the Voodoo here. Oh, and oh, uh, that T1 man. goes down. But Four I thought he was still pretty sneaky. Yeah. Uh, he was pretty sneaky, trying to, uh, you know, just take out the uh, 2B, uh, 2BK. But uh, with those MX 50s lurking, he was just uh, a wee bit uh, reckless. Yeah, Schwartz still in full health here. Modi actually came over here too. Oh, and Schwartz taking some damage here once again. And oh, oh, and then the tank goes out. down. Okay, that's going to do it, folks. Yeah, Moving Castle gets taken yeah. out there. That's it. Yeah, Timodi. And same with um, Tanaka. Yeah, Tanaka yeah. Is, is like 10 like ten hit points. So, yeah, a lot of the members of, um, of Iron Man are extremely low. Same with Schwartz there. Schwartz taking a lot of damage as well. So, it's looking really grim actually for, for Yeah, Iron and I Man think right Tanaka now. is going to get taken down here. As yeah, well, yeah, uh, the, quite soon. the the uh, MX13 was was on the hunt. I saw a, a red dot blip. Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, he's expecting a flank. Look at that. He's just like hiding behind that rock. But uh, yeah, I think um, yeah, they're just happy to wait this out. I mean, there's nothing uh, the Iron Man members can actually do. Yep. So this is about. 
15, 14 seconds now remaining, and it looks like this final set will actually go to the Silly Ducks. So yep. congrats to them. Indeed, uh, so for three weeks in a row, they shall be participating to the Masters League. Silly Ducks.